Hello and welcome to substituting. Hello and welcome to substituting into formula with Qubit Education. In this mini lecture, you will substitute letters for numbers to work out the answers to equations. So, uh, that learning outcome might have sounded a little bit confusing, so I'm going to show you an example as to what that meant. So, here is a question. The speed of a falling object is found by the formula below, v equals 10t. If t equals 5, find v. Now what this means is when I say substituting into formula, it means that you're going to put the numbers where the letters are. So, first of all, the formula that we have here is v equals 10t. That is the formula we would use if we wanted to calculate the speed of something that we might have dropped, like a ball or an apple. So, in order to find this, we need to put in the numbers that they're giving us. So, this means v, uh, This means here, v equals 10 times t. So, if we have 10t, it means you have to multiply them together. Now, it tells us that t is 5. So, if t is 5, then v equals 10 times 5. So, we just put the 5 where the t is. And then we do the calculation. v equals 50. And it said to find v, so we've done it. Okay, let's have a look at another example. A joiner uses the formula c equals 8t, where c equals the cost in pounds of the job, and t is the time taken in hours to complete the work. What is the charge if the work took three hours? Now that sounds like a bit of a complicated question. It sounds like it's a lot of information and you might feel a bit confused. But all you've got to do is concentrate on the formula. The formula is C equals 8T. Okay. And it says, what is the charge if the work took three hours? Well, T is time. So we have to do C equals 8 times T because we have 8T here next to each other. And T is time for which it took three hours. So it's C equals 8 times 3. So 8 times 3 is 24, so the cost in pounds would be 24 pounds, and that's the answer. So even though you seem like you've got a lot of information, as long as you can put the correct numbers in, it, you'll get the right answer. Let's try another example. So fare, written as F of a taxi journey, is given by F equals CM. Okay, so all that means is that if you use the formula F equals CM, you'll be able to work out how much it costs for the taxi. C is the cost per kilometre. M is the number of kilometres travelled. C is 40 pence. M is 8 kilometres. What is the fare charged? So, again, sounds like a lot of information and it's complicated, but let's just write down the formula again. F equals CM. And if F, F equals CM, that means F would equal C times M. So, all we need to do is look at the question and find what C is. And it says it there, all on the bottom line, C is 40 pence. Now just be careful because 40 pence is written as 0 0.4, not 40. Because if you're doing 40, it's written in, that'll be, the calculator will assume it's in pounds. So you must write it as 0 0.4. Okay, and M is 8 kilometres. So all we need to do now is 0 0.4 times 8. Well, if we do 4 times 8 instead, okay, that gives us 32. And because there's a decimal point in there, it would end up being 3.2. So you can still do that calculation without a calculator. So this is in pounds, so the fare is actually £3.20. Okay, so that's how much it costs for the taxi. Let's try another one. The speed of a falling object is found by the formula V equals U plus 10T. If U equals 8 and T equals 5, find V. So this isn't, this isn't too bad, uh, there's not too much information there. So we have our formula, we now need to put in the information that we know, which is all written on the bottom line. So first of all, I'm just going to expand my equation a little bit, just to remind you that 10t means 10 times t. Okay, so u is 8, <clears throat> and t is 5. So 8 goes in there, and then 5 where t is. Okay, 
So now remember bid mass, we have to remember this here because we must remember to multiply before we add. So 10 times 5 is 50, so we end up with 8 add 50, so V then equals 58. Okay. Right then, what about this one? This one's a nice one. P equals 5x minus 5. Find the value of P when x equals 4. So here is our equation. I'm just going to expand it a little bit to remind you that 5x means 5 times x. And as you can see, the way I'm writing this out is all nice and neat and methodical. It's, the not, it's very organised. And this is how I would like you to start writing your answers for your GCSEs, because you'll get more marks if you write everything down in a nice neat order and show all of your working out. As I'm sure you've been told a thousand times, but it's true, trust me. So, P equals 5 times X minus 5. So let's put in our values. So X is 4, it says. So P equals 5 times 4 minus 5. So remember bid mass again, we must multiply first. So 5 times 4 is 20. So P equals 20 minus 5 which means P must equal 15. Okay then, one more. The perimeter of a square is given by P equals 4A. P is the perimeter, A is the side length. What is the value of P when A equals 3 metres? So again, lots of information, but all you need to do is remember what letters um, have what number, uh, what value. Okay, so P equals 4A, that's our um, our formula that they gave us at the top and that means P must equal 4 times A. So all you need to know is A and it says it right there on the bottom line A is 3. So P equals 4 times 3 so P must equal 12 meters. Okay now I know it's 12 meters because it's 3 meters here. Okay so it must be meters my answer. Okay right so the formula for the cost of newspaper advert a newspaper advert, sorry, is given by C equals W plus 10. C is the charge in pounds, and W is the number of words used. What is the charge if 32 words are used? Again, a lot of information, however, just stick to the formula, don't panic. So C equals W plus 10. Well, W is the number of words used, and it says at the bottom line that he uses 32 words. So C equals 32 plus 10. So C equals 42. Okay. Right, so pause the video and have a go at these questions. And then press play for your answers. Okay, if you've had a go, let's have a look at the answers.
Okay, so pause the video and have a go at these questions and then press play for the answers. Okay, so here are your answers. So um, P equals 3N and N equals 6, which means P equals 3 times 6. So P must equal 18. Uh, cube equals 2C plus D. So C is 3, so 2 times 3 is 6, plus D, which is 8. So Q must equal 8. And then finally, Y equals 5X minus 3. Um, and 9 is x, so 5 times 9 is 45, 45 take away 3 is 42, so y must equal 42. Okay, so well done, thank you so much for using Cupid Education, and I'll see you next time.